Um, boom. We in this bitch. Long time no see to the other people on the other side of the earth. You're back to the n- number one podcast. This is this is I know this is the number one podcast on earth. Say that. Okay. All right. And you know what the saying is? What? The twenty million dollar podcast. All right. What is why is that? Because this 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 is the twenty if 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 Nick come to me like, yo, how much for an episode? Twenty all right, okay. If nigga with Spotify <laughs> hit me up, I'm just sitting just putting it out there. Twenty million dollar podcast. That's what it is. Type shit. And I don't really have to say how, how what do you what do you like to be called nowadays? Cause I d I've been through man, all the rap names. Fresh, man. My friends call me fresh, you know. <laughs> that is an iconic name, bro. Man. That's an iconic name. Appreciate Thank you that. for pulling up, bro. I really didn't think I was gonna get this interview. Oh no, nah, ain't about shit. I think we talked about this a minute ago, right? Yeah, in May. Yeah, damn. Yeah. This year? Yes. Oh shit. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, dude, I, I would like. Is it when you try to get it? I'm sorry. How you say Twiz? Tizzy. I've been saying his name wrong. Tizzy. His, he brought he brought the gang in here. Yeah, we got my manager. You feel That's me? That's your manager. Yes, sir. It's nice to meet you. I, ha, have you been? Has he been your manager for like a long time? Like a year, right? About a year now. Mm. Yeah. One by quick. Mm. Yeah. What is what is your relationship with your manager? Uh. Really, we was like homies first. Like all of my uh, manager interactions, they always they gotta start as homies first. Any anything, you feel me? We gotta be cool first. So, uh, but just organizing my you know cluster fuck of business I got going on, or at least trying to, you feel me? That's that's really main, like bro, main role in this shit. You feel me? Helping mm-hmm. me organize my shit. Shout out to the team. Yeah, for sure. Okay, um, for the guy, um, I don't I don't have to introduce this nigga. I really don't have to. So I'm not going to be like, this is fresh. Because it's fucking fresh. Um, thank you. This is like, Thank you, bro. This is like, I feel like this is, you don't, under, you don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I still remember, I still remember I was six in middle, like middle school. Ah, damn, yeah, middle so, school. How old are you? I'm, I'm, today's my birthday, actually. Oh, shit. Happy birthday, yeah. my boy. I'm turning yeah. two today. Hell yeah. So I wasn't in middle school. I was like in beginning high school. Yeah. Turn 22. Oh, shit. Yeah, so this is how I'm celebrating my birthday. So you see how this is for me. Like I don't, I don't. Nah, that's fire. We're celebrating. That's hard, bro. Hell yeah. And you turned 22. So all right. So yeah, that makes sense. You said middle school because I was like in middle school dropping the bitches damn near. Or like. How old are you? I turned 23 this year. I'm 22 right now. Oh shit. Yeah. I don't know why. Like just looking at you, like younger as me. I always just thought you was younger than me. Like just how you look. Everybody, be, yeah. That's it. Just seeing like that because. It don't help that I look young as shit too. So, yeah, I look young as hell. So, you was probably watching me like the same age as me, thinking I was younger than you and shit. A lot of people be telling me that shit. I was like, man, fresh my little nigga man out there, spat. <laughs> same shit. That's how <laughs> niggas be coming. Like, bro, that's little bro. Like, whole time I might be older than the nigga. We might be the same age. So, all type of shit. That should be funny. So. Um, I'm I'm excited. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy to be in a room with you, like talking talking about more your experience rather than like just being like another artist coming for a feature because mm-hmm. I, I really am interested in it was like in like you know more so you rather than what er, you know what I mean with what, what everybody else you know and everything Word. but before we get into all that stuff um what what's up with you bro like today is <coughs> July I forgot my I, I was looking at like to see what the date was it's my birthday <laughs> July 27th um 2022 what's what is you up to what's up uh how was your day today what you do today Shit, today what I what did I do today? Shit, I ain't really had that eventful of a day today. I ain't gonna lie, niggas just woke up, rolled up, you know, listened to some music, reflected, see how I was about to better this music shit, better my image and all that shit, better myself. You feel me? But shit, overall in general, what I've been on is just cooking, like just cooking up, bro, and just trying to put out shit and just. That's really it, you know. Just flooding right now. Well, I'm not putting out the the amount of shit that I would like to right now. You feel what I'm saying? But that's where my mind is at. I'm trying to flood. I'm trying to just post. Okay, you still you still produce beats? Yeah. I still have the capabilities to, but so, <laughs> I ain't, so, I ain't so, made a beat in a minute. So juice was not was not. A, a nah, finish. that was uh brilliant. Shout out to Brill and Chef Zeff. Mm-hmm. They did that, John. So but I think I pro- the last record I produced was No Snare. Mm-hmm. So yeah, okay. I mean I pro- and I produced my biggest record. I did regular. So what? Yeah, I did. I produced. I made regular. Yep. A lot of people don't know that. 
I made regular, yeah. <laughs> Look that shit up for the for them whole ass, for niggas that that's for the for the for the bitches that be looking your name up <laughs> that really don't know what you be on. Peep the credits. You look you that up. Me? Look, go look it up right now. Look up that song. That's that's fire, bro. So, um, yeah. tell me about what I I, I want to really I really want to talk about before we I want to talk about two specific projects. All right. And it's just like as a fan, I just want to know like your mindset throughout that whole thing. But before we get to that point. Mm. So we we talked about what was you up to today, so like what is a what is a regular like we're gonna talk about two type of days we're gonna talk about like a regular chill day like just I'm not really trying to go out and do much and we're gonna talk about a Friday night just got paid mm. and I'm on my way to you type shit <laughs> what's the what's what's the move I need to hear this all right you talking about like a a lit night what am I doing on a on a lit night turned up Friday night you just got am paid. I in the city am I out of town where am I at. <sighs> Give me a, give me something to play off of here. I can I, give you an idea. Uh, I guess you in the. I don't know, nigga. I'm, I mean, I, I, he I said, be, I don't know, nigga. I don't be traveling. I don't know the difference. Nigga. All right, lately I've been, lately I ain't been like really going nowhere. So let's say I'm in like New York, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, shit. I'm probably shopping like during the day. Niggas probably shopping, looking for shit, thrifting, looking for new shit. Uh, at night, New York is lit. It's a lot of parties. I know a lot of people. Or a lot of you know a lot of lit people, so I gotta come. I gotta come with you then, type thing. Oh, for sure, for sure. I ain't even going to New York as much as I should right now, cause like mm-hmm. you know, but it's so much. It's so much shit to do out there, and I'm like grateful to know the people I know out there. So when I go, it just be shit throwing at me. Like I be kind of like missing events sometimes. Like it be four motherfuckers telling me to pull up the shit, and I can only you know I can only be in one place at one time. So you feel me, but. That was that's probably what the night would look like, just like four to five parties, like, cause, Damn. like I said, realistically, I probably only go to one, and be burnt out. But I'm saying, if, if we speaking hypothetically, on this lit night, I would probably go to like four to five parties, afties, all type of shit, late night shit. Probably wouldn't get home till like five six a.m. Sun coming up. Damn. Get breakfast. Probably get a bacon, egg, and cheese. I, so I can't. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. I won't go to New York with you, nigga. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> I'll be sleeping by like ten thirty. After this, bro. Right, after this, bro. I'm gonna take a couple shots with Shorty. You know what I mean? Roll over on and call it a day. That's the B-Day move right now. <laughs> that's a that's a lit night though in New York. Okay. You can ask anybody that's ever got lit in New York. You're you're. It's, the night is over when the sun comes up. Like it's not a like it's three a.m. Oh, I'm tired. You're yawning the whole night. Your eyes watering, whole body vibrating. You just tired. Never going home though. See, you got you got a lot to tell me, bro. Cause I'm I'm like I'm I literally when I remember I told you I would get here Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I literally drove here and I got here today. Ah. So nigga, you came I, from Maryland, right? Yeah, Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah, yeah that's so, like a. Two hour, two hour drive, three hour drive. Yeah, so right. and traffic made that bitch a solid. But you know, when you really whipping, you can flip that bitch to like a solid one thirty, yeah, one forty five. Dip through them lanes, <laughs> no hezzy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Let's talk about something else. All right. Um, before we get, I don't. I'm I'm trying to get everything. I'm trying to get all the all the fluffy shit around it before I get to the. To, I really want to talk about childish, bro. Childish is my shit. Ah, uh. that was I've no homo. If I was gay, it's like I'm playing, I'm playing. Hey, yo. I'm joking, I'm joking, bro, I'm joking. All right, so have you always been like a fashion type guy? I ain't, I ain't even about to sit up here and lie like niggas be lying. Like I got into fashion when uh, Rocky came around and like ASAP and all that shit came around. A lot, that's a lot of niggas, but niggas are going to lie and be like, bro, I've been, like, I've been into this shit since I was five. He's like, nah, fuck out of here. But I, like before that, yeah, I would say I cared about my clothes because like to this day, I remember having like a, this Echo hoodie when I was like five years old or some shit like that. It was this red Echo hoodie, like little weird shit like that. But to be completely honest, bro, it was when like ASAP and all of them came around. That's when I started hearing them names like the Alexanders and Queens and the, the the Ricks and the Raps and all that shit. That's when I got into like, oh, okay, that's how I want kinda wanna dress, you feel me? But before that I wasn't I wasn't really in, into fashion, no. Like, see see I, I see me if a nigga asked me if I'm getting into fashion, I'll tell him like I can't be in the fashion. Like I, I gotta get what I gotta buy I'm spending money with shit I need to get, nigga. I got on flip flops right now. Word. That's it to be honest right now, yeah, I haven't really been getting dressed, bro, because life like you feel what i'm saying like i have shit that's just laid over from when i was really shopping that's just in the crib that i can like put on and shit like 
what I'm saying? The fits don't be complete bullshit. But right now, I like I'm not dressing as best as I could right now as as I used to be. Like to be honest, I, I, mean, I say the best I was dressing was like in like 2019. I was really going crazy. Yeah, I would say that. I mean, you got you got the merch on. For sure, for sure. So that's that's the drip right there. Period. What happened? Oh, the dreads fucking up the dreads. Oh yeah, yeah. I couldn't. It was like head or headphones. I had to take a Bro, I take a what, choice. But shout out, shout out to Ish. Who's that? The homie Ish from uh from out here. Is a, he got a brand called Paranoia and shit. So shout out to him. I like this hat a lot. I think I heard of that before. Paranoia. Yeah, Parano- Paranoia with a Y, like instead of an I. Shit, it's fire. We got the good. We got the good. Foxy Brown. Fuck, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Shout out to Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown, send us your address or your PO box or something so we can send you a T-shirt, girl. Who Stop is playing. Foxy Brown, for real? You know Foxy Brown is? No, bro. She a rapper. She fire. She she like an OG rapper. Like you think of like Lil Kim's and like she like one of them. You feel me? See, I tried legend to, queen. I tried to do a shirt with Madonna on it, but it took it down. For real? Because I named it Madonna. Yeah, you can't be doing shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought nobody was gonna peep it. Like nobody don't be watch, nobody be clicking on my shit. Yeah, I keep it low. What's 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 the team? What's the who are the people you keep around you? Man, uh, I would say day ones, but like, is is a lot of people aren't day ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, just just real people. I just try to keep real people around me. You feel me? Uh. I'm trying to kick it with more artists now. Like, I feel like I kind of be the only artist in certain settings a lot of the time. So now I'm kind of like trying to work with more rappers and shit. You feel me? Like rappers I actually like though, not just like, oh, you rap? Let's work. Like, no, like I'm trying to work with people I fuck with. You feel me? When when you go through picking like somebody to go to fuck with, like who do you, who do you like? What people who music like? I listen to, like if I'm li- like I'll literally be listening to somebody's song. Like I just did this recently. I was listening to uh, I'll say it. shout out to Bear One Boss. I was listening to uh, Holy macaroni. I was listening to a uh, a Bear One Boss song, and I just got fed up because I got this song that I've been trying to get bro on for a minute. I just got fed up, and I was like, Nah, he got to get on this shit. Like, text him. It was like, Bro, get on this song, bro, please. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm you know did it, it go through though? Like, did it, did you did the shot hit? Uh yeah, I mean he he said he he said he gonna get that back to me. We gonna see. We how, gonna long, see. how long has it been since then? You don't have to say. I don't want you to do all too much. But it was that was a couple of days ago. That j- I just okay. hit him, okay. so I'm giving it time. You feel me? But uh, that's just like one example of like one of the people I'm trying to work with. But yeah, I'm trying to do more collabs. Like you feel me? That's one of my goals. So so because I'm also tired of hearing just my voice on a song. Like I'm trying to hear me with other people. You know. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. that. It gets to a point where you feel like that. Um, so since you don't really make your own beats like that, how how is your process goes for picking out people for beats? Like, how many? Like, do people just send you beats? I got one main producer. It's brilliant. Me and Bro, like, that's my Metro. It's my Dr. Dre. You get the idea. Like, the classic. This nigga making the beat. I'm rapping while he making the beat. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> but like, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and this shit. Yeah. Okay. And like, I knew bro since we was like, um, probably since fucking like middle school maybe. Like I didn't kick it with him, but I knew of him through a mutual homie. Shout out to my homie Oak and shit. I knew him through him, and we like was going to do the music shit, but like I didn't really hit him for beats yet. Like I was just doing my thing, doing my thing, and in the back of my head, I was always like, oh yeah, this nigga make beats. We know niggas be disrespecting nigga. their producers and shit, bro. That shit out of pocket. <laughs> I, if, 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 if nigga, I, I be producers to me, bro. Like, if it was, if it was, if it was my girl on the cliff, you need them. Like, hey, yo. <laughs> I'm be you like, need them though. You dead need them. Like, like, you gotta, you gotta treat the producers like they, they the stars too, cause they, like, invite them out to the functions, all that. Hey, listen, right, invite producers out to the functions. Invite them to the all that. Like, fuck the, just the niggas just want link in the stew and. No, oh, invite them out. They making your hits, dumbass. No, literally. The fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Let's kind of. I'm kind of switch. Switch up. Switch up. All right. What? What? Why the hell do you have so many rap names? I don't think I got that many. Bro, like I started. You, when, I listen. When I was. When, I, well, can I tell you my experience? For you? Well, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm go ahead. No, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
When I was <laughs> I was I was trying to find the childish album bro recently and I was trying to listen to it. And I'm over this bitch looking up um mm-hmm. Fatal Fresh, Cashier Fresh. Cashier. Cashier is crazy. I don't even know how to say that. How you say it? Ca- cashier. Ca- like What's cashier. Not- like the like the nigga that run the register. Oh, so it's not cashier? I thought it was like, oh, my, maybe my nigga dipping in some fancy shit now. So he getting nah, his bag. it's just like how you spell that shit. Cashier. It's like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, I like that. I like it now. Before, <laughs> I just thought you was like, damn, this nigga going pop. Like, Yo. Nah, I be... That shit is on like some of my like food accounts like i think it's like on my doordash account or some shit so when i pick up food they'd be like saying it like that like it's a russian name or some cashier or something and i'll be like nah, this is cashier it's the rap name Get- <laughs> <laughs> okay um walk me through the steps like so say if i feel like this is an honest a good question to ask you mm. so say if maybe say if you one of your, one of your songs blow up somewhere somehow something like not unexpectedly, but what if if you execute like that, what most people don't really know what to do next. Like, mm. do you, can you walk me through that? Like the steps after your song went viral. Yeah, basically. Like, what is the next steps to do? Like, should you drop shirts? Would you say? Next is set. To um, say, make sure the nets are set. You heard? What is net? Are you, I, I'm not understanding. Nets. Network? I don't even. Fully, that's why he the manager. I don't even fully know what the fuck he just said. It's the nets is set. <laughs> oh, oh, where, where, where? Damn, and, you, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's it's a it's millions of artists that did get that big break that like that, but they didn't know how to take it or what to do with it, and they just fucked up the bag. You get a hit. It could be any sort of hit too. It could be say if you it's different like a, types of hits. Say if you a yeah. Say if you like a like a crash out like a What's, wait, listen wait. listen. Say if you like a crash out like a like shoot 'em up type of artist, right? You get a hit. You can get a hit that way. Even if you get a hit that way. Well, what does that oh, sh- crash out? What does that mean? Like you know, like niggas got the guns in the bitch. You know, oh, bro. Like, so it, if you that type of nigga and you get a hit that way. Even if it's th- through that type of way, you 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 immediately monetize. Like that's all you gotta do. Like from the rip, you just. No, nah, I'm straight. I'm I'm twisted right now. I don't even drink for real. I got, so like I the minimum fucking, amount of lick, you just really. I'll be straight. When I have kids, <laughs> I'm be like, yeah, you know who Fresh is. I got him drunk one time. For sure, you can put that in. The, for sure, did because it don't take much to do it. So you. You're not a drinker. Mission accomplished. Not really. I mean, I drink, but I'm not a drinker. Because I, f- I feel like people don't know when to say that. Like, people... I'm one of those people. Like, I'll indulge in drinking. I'll get drunk with you. But, like, it's only going to take one shot. So... Mm-hmm. Uh, but we got to get I'm back. not a drinker. We gotta get oh, back yeah, no. Nah. But, yeah, Types yeah. of hits. Crash out. Yeah. You, even if you get that, that hit and you want some, like, turnt shit, just monetize immediately from the rip. Like, because... You clean it up. You come Britney Spears. Like, how weird would that be if a nigga, his first hit, what well, well, we all know him Back by, blood. he like, yeah, he on some like that type of shit. He turned his up. His next song, like, his next song just is want like, to dance with somebody. Yeah, like, you feel <laughs> me? It's Britney, bitch. Like, that would be hard. Like, nigga, ain't nobody on your trail, nothing to worry that's about That's what Post you. Malone did. I mean, that's, that's his name. Well, White Iverson, you think so? In a sense, in a sense, that was a crazy comparison. But in a sense, yeah, it makes sense, it's a, it, it makes sense though. But no, actually, yeah, yeah, in a sense, yeah, because he came like on some trap shit at first and then switched it up, and you know, he like he's like really full rock star now. So I be saying this nigga shot. Have you ever shotgun a bear, nigga? A be- no, that's some white shit right there. That's super white. I ain't been that far. If you if you would have if you would have if you would have if you would have um said you shotgun, bro, I probably would have been like. Mm, so I would hit you on my these. I'm trying to think of the whitest shit I've done because I've done shit in that range, but I haven't shotgunned a beer. You did the thing where like you got the tube. Well, got nah, I haven't done that either. Okay, good. No, no, no crazy uh, beer tricks. I'm trying to think. I mean, the closest thing is probably a dab. I think I just did a dab. That's probably it. Mm, mm. With my white homie. Did you, with your white homie. Shout out white homie. Man. <laughs> Shout okay. out to Smigo. <laughs> so what is what is the nigga doing? Dummy Smigo. <laughs> I have fresh. I have to apologize to you, bro. I, I I set this whole shit up, and the camera was perfect and everything. And it's like some shit happened, and now it's only one camera. 
Oh damn! So we've been at this camera. I've been pointing at this camera this whole time. Yeah, I'm sorry, this camera. Bro. No, that's all good. The one of them worked though, and it's your good side. So bet no homo. My, I love you. I love you. Sir. <laughs> no bet bet. <laughs> now I know. I've been showing this camera all the love, but it's this one. Yeah, that shit don't even know it, bro. <laughs> hey yeah. Sorry, bro. Um, what? Um, this this is this is this is. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm asking you this question. I feel like I could ask any Philadelphia. Are you a Philadelphian? You a Philadelphian. Bruh. So I feel like I feel like <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what I just I said this. Would I say something? No, no, no. You good? You good? Was it the Philadelphian? Yeah, that that character is just crazy. Like yeah, only because I'm like really yeah, like yeah, fuck yeah. I'm no, from here, I just bro. didn't want to. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to this because I, I I be I be knowing stuff, but like I can't be too sure until I ask you to your face. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you know you know you know how many niggas probably went to Art Kelly. Like did you rape them bitches? Hey, <laughs> fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> They cooked that man. Okay, so fuck. Um, I mean, I'm, 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 I, I was told on my when I was on my way to Philly, I was told that I should go to the strip. What the fuck? The is strip. That? What is that? The strip could be a lot of things. The strip could be South Street. The strip could be the block of the nigga you was speaking to. The strip could be the strip club. The strip could be. I think that's all the things the strip could be. But and to be honest, you kind of only want to be on one out of three of those things. The, the one on Southside? Yep. Okay. Just South Street. Because, like, the strip clubs out here, I hope I'm not fucking no stripper. Don't fill up your strippers' money up right now. But they're not really, like, we're not known for strip clubs or nothing. And I know that <clears throat> I know that because, like, people from Atlanta that I know have came here. And, you know, Atlanta's like the strip club. <laughs> Mecca. BBLs so, just just outside Squeezy Boys with big yeah. Squeezy Boy bitch with BBLs. They come here and they're just like amazing. Or even if they don't come here, I've talked to people from Atlanta, like shorties from Atlanta and shit. And they're like, so what good strip clubs y'all get wings from out there? And I'm like, we don't we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that out here. So we not hit like, that lick. Okay, sure. Do we not go to the strip clubs? Like fresh air is no go. No strips. No strips. South Street. I think that's the only strip I could be. They were saying of. something about don't go to Geno's. Yeah, <laughs> don't go to Geno's. That's a, that's a no go. What's the other one? It's Pats and Geno's, right? Yeah, Pats and Geno's. Don't go there. Pats and Geno's. Yeah. Is it, is, is it like is that a, is that one place or is it like Pats and Geno's? Might, might as well be one place. They right across the street from each other. Damn. And sure. they're both. They ain't tell me about Pats. I definitely probably would have went across the street. They're horrible. God damn. Pats, Geno's, no. Um, gems on South Street, good. Ishka Bibbles on South Street, good. Uh, you, you writing this down, shorty? Just go to South Street. You can't even, they both across the street from each other too. There's two shitty cheesesteak places across the street from each other and there's two great cheesesteak places across the street from each other. It's where you make that choice at. Pasagino's is crazy though. I don't think people are recommending those places. Bruh, I'm, you, I'm a, I'm a don't let nobody tell you to put cheese whiz on your steak neither. I know real Philly niggas that do that and I'm not knocking them, but I'm, I just, I don't do that. Oh, sh- are you-, you had a cheesesteak yet? Uh, from Baltimore. Ah, uh, no, you ain't had a cheese steak yet. Shit, bro. I, you I had a steak to, sandwich. I didn't, bro. I, 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 swear <laughs> to, I swear to God, I drove here from Baltimore. Mm. I I let Shorty take a shower. I went up. I went and got some. I got some liquor in them that I sold right there. I ordered some food. Fine. Set the shit up, and I waited for you. All right, you gotta get a cheese steak before you get out of here for sure. Huh? I don't like hot on my shit. Yeah, like the food. Would you oh, get out here? I got Fridays. Oh, you can't, can't go wrong with that. Five. Oh, did I say Five Guys? No, you said Fridays. I but either way, five, I meant to say Five Guys. I don't. I'm sorry. No, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, chain. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? No bullshit. Go to uh. Ooh, go to Reading Terminal, bro. Go to Reading Terminal and get the Soul Red, Food. Reading Terminal. Yes. I'm gonna put you. It's a where that shit at? It's at 11th and Arch, 11th and Arch or 10th and Arch, one of those. So it's like okay. a big ass building. It's on the strip. Nah, this downtown though. It's not too far from. from you said South Red Inferior. Uh, Red and Terminal. Red and Terminal. You you typing it? She not. She got you. See, that's why she get paid a big buck. She looking out for it. Red and Terminal. Will you go in there and get the Jamaican food or the soul food, which are both next to each other, or? They got like a New Orleans type Cajun spot in there. The gumbo there, good mm. as fuck. All that shit. It's just like a swap meet of food. Shit, fire. So, is there anything else that I should be doing in Philly, bro? I got, I'm here till XM. I don't want to tell people, but 
Uh, Even though this probably won't be out until to do, soon. yeah, this turned into a what to do in Philly. I'm to sorry, I'm sorry. I hate to be that nigga. No, nah, that's cool. People need this. Yeah, we really do. This is one, one, this one first thing to do in Philly. Don't come to Philly. Second, oh shit, thing to do in Philly. If you're in Philly, uh, go to Red Turbo to get food. <laughs> Good there. Third thing to do if you're in Philly, um, it's kind of boring here. I ain't gonna lie. Like this is my city too, so I wouldn't like be just saying this shit. If I, I want to make it appealing, but it ain't shit to do here. So this nigga said it's his city. <laughs> Meek Mill. <laughs> hey, <Sure>. nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, city, for real. fucking what would what would you do here? I mean, it's a lot of good food spots. There's good food spots in Fish Towns. Good food spots uh, downtown. You got like, what's the, don't. Ain't one of the steak spots we got to is like there's not out of town. Like ain't Ocean Prime or something not out of town. I think Barclay Prime is not that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, so go to Barclay Prime Park, shit like that. Devon's shit like that. Uh, you feel me? We got the best taco spot out here too, but I ain't giving that drop up. You got to tell me, nigga? <laughs> I'll give you that off cam, but... Okay, cool. I ain't give... Yeah, you bitch-ass <laughs> nigga. Yeah, I, ain't give it that, I ain't giving that drop. Don't hit me up. I'm, I'm taxing for it. Straight up. <laughs> Best taco spot in the city. Straight up. And if you really, like, watch my content and shit, I've already, like, showed niggas. So Fuck. I didn't watch it's that a video. It's a real. It's, like, hitting in vlogs and shit. But I'm going to put you on. No bullshit. Thank you, bro. You should really go. For okay. sure. Okay. Um, okay, we're getting around to the final questions. The questions that I've been waiting for, that I've been wanting to ask you. Yeah. I want to talk to you about childish. Bet. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? That's my shit, bro. If if wasn't alive and I just said childish, I'm good. If um, I don't even know, bro. You had Lil Yachty on there. Yeah. How the? Tell me about that song specifically first. Lil Yachty was on childish. Yes. Tell him. Yeah, I ain't know that was that far back, but I remember I could tell you the process of, of making childish. It was I was on Fifty Second Street. I can give that up. <laughs> I can say that I was in Fifty. I, was, I made that whole okay. album on Fifty Second Street. It's a studio, and it was my homie's crib. He was recording in there. Yeah, I was in there cooking. That was the studio at the time. Okay, and. Uh, that was so long ago. I can't remember why I wanted to make such a long project, but I was like, this one gonna be twenty songs. Like Nigga. this one is twenty plus songs. Fuck, fuck, dark twisted fantasy. <laughs> fuck, dark twisted fantasy is crazy. Oh my mother, crazy. Oh, my mother nigga. that's how I was crazy. feeling bro, when that shit came out. That's really, I was really, I was bumping that every day. You don't understand, bro. Nah, I really, I really feel you because like people really be telling me this shit. It's not every day I get to like interact with people in person, but I get these type of messages on Instagram sometimes, and I be like kind of not believing it sometimes. Like, how do you ain't really feel this shit that much? Like until then, and childish and all that shit, they be like, bro, this is really that shit. Like bro, crazy. when that shit came out, that's really I was really I was bumping that every day. You don't understand, bro. Nah, I really, I really feel you because like people really be telling me this shit. It's not every day I get to like interact with people in person, but I get these type of messages on Instagram sometimes, and I be like kind of not believing it sometimes. Like, how do you ain't really feel this shit that much? Like until then, and childish and all that shit, they be like, bro, this is really that shit. Like, so I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I I purposely made it like I wanted to make it a point to fuck a bitch that album. Crazy, even though it would be, like it would be you know what I'm saying it would be hard to do it. Yeah, cause there ain't too many vibes for That's that on I'm that saying. album. I did it though for the, for the team for the fresh team. Fire. I'm okay, out. tell talk to me about that album. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just I'm just fanboying. My bad. Shit, I remember like getting all the features for it and like gathering you know everybody verses and I'm trying to think what else I remember. I remember Was just that like an independent thing. Yeah, nigga, I was like 16. Bro, I, I have you, shit. I thought the deal was cut in. Like, bro, I ain't have shit. That like, was nothing. I didn't have shit. I was. I keep forgetting you're not from here. So, like, 52nd Street is like the hood, bro. That is the trenches in oh. West. So, I was in the trenches making this tape off equipment that my homie got through ways that I will not say. He robbed it. <laughs> and we cooking up, like, that was really a that was really a fucking crazy time for me because I was like, 
just, 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 I was just, I don't know. It was crazy, bro. I was young and we didn't have shit. And that, like, I made 20 songs and put them out. <laughs> like, <laughs> asking niggas for features and all that shit. It, so, how, how, to, walk me through how to, do, you still, you can't tell me to walk me through the Lil Yachty song. Oh, all right. So, the Lil Yachty feature was really a freestyle over a beat. So, me and Duop Kane use the same beat. Shout out Duop Kane. Shout out Duop Kane. Yo, Q, you think you can give me an interview? I don't know. Maybe you got to. That nigga's on the other side of the. He a real secluded nigga. That's like you gotta saying. go. You gotta go to him. You might. You might have to go to Savannah. Pull up on him. I didn't. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I didn't even know where to go. Like type shit. He, I don't know. You might just slide on him. I don't know if he uh, he uh, he popping out. I mean, he like a, he like a, he yeah. like a hedgehog. You Tra- feel me? <laughs> bro, y'all, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, bro, y'all, you know, you know, I've, I'm not just, you know, I'm really, I really been trying to get that nigga. I feel you. I mean, I can, hey, I can put the word in. I don't know. Look, I've been trying to get a feature from this nigga for a couple years. So we don't, <laughs> we, I don't know if I can, even, if I can swing that, I, we gonna see about the interview. Like, I don't know. Nigga, I, I was trying to get an interview. I was researching. I'm like, okay, he has a Honda. Hmm. That's why I went out. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. But go ahead. Look, go ahead, the song. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We, me and Duop use the same beat and shit. And, uh, I don't know how it got in Yachty hands. I remember how it got to me, like, because the producer hit me and told me that, like, Yachty did the record and shit. So I'm like, all right, bet. But, um, Yachty fuck with doo type shit. And I don't know if that was the beginning of that. Like, that song was the beginning of that for that. But I knew he fucked with doo And I used the same beat. And, like, he shouted me out, too, type shit. So that's how that came about. And we just put the record. It was the same beat, so we just put the record on our songs and then made it a remix featuring it. You feel me? Was that was that was that the album that 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 um had 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 you thinking like the price just went up? Or uh, what, or I mean, I did, like, I did think like I did think I was about to like just blow out the fucking. You mean I did think it was like it was over, bro? I thought <laughs> it too. I swear to God, man. there's no <laughs> straight up. <laughs> Come I'm right. t- bro, you don't understand. Like you think, you think I'm just, you think I just fucking, bro. you think I just DM'd you like, cause just cause I think you cool, nigga. Like you don't understand. I'm crying. <laughs> no, I'm crying. That was crazy. It's like, no, I'll show you. But, time. Cut it out. Let me stop. But I, uh, I did think like it was like over at that point. Like I thought it was up. Like, but to be honest, there is no real like it's up point. Like you know what I'm saying? It's a gradual grind. So that's why I peep for that shit. But it was a moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing can't nobody take from me. That shit was a moment. That shit was fire. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Yachty. Shout out to me out on the track. That's fire. It's a moment in time. I'm going to tell my kids about that album. Hard. They going to come to me like... I be thinking about that shit. Like, what are my kids going to think about my music? Because I have a lot of old records where I was like really squeaky voice and just saying dumb shit. So I really wonder what they going to think about that shit. It wouldn't some, be no me if it wasn't for Mac Miller. But I'm just that's saying, crazy to say, you, but that's low key true. You know how many I, times I, I woke up and bruh. put and got dressed the Nikes on my feet, bro. I, you, I crazy. You said it. So, you said it somewhere. I got dressed to that. I got. Nigga, you got dressed to a song. Yeah, listen. There, I'm about to put y'all on. There are certain songs that I just get dressed to. Like I wake up and they're just good get dressed songs. So you wake up. Nikes wait. on my feet, Mac Miller, Pesos, ASAP Rocky. Uh, 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 there are more, but I can't think right now. But those two off top are just like good. Wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, get dressed songs. Like those are fine. Like, you should try it. What what point? Like, <laughs> but I'm but I'm just I just wouldn't know when to cut the song. Like, do you wake up and then cut the song? Or do you wake up? You wake you wake up then? immediately and you put the song on. Like as soon as you crack your eyes open, you put the song on and you put yourself in a music video and you go brush your teeth and get dressed. That's some real nigga shit, man. It's fire. Nike's on my feet, Mac Miller and Pesos ASAP Rocky. Try it. Shorty, tomorrow, when, you, when I wake up, don't be don't be complaining that the music's too loud. I'm turning the fuck up. I'm telling you. But I, you have an amazing morning after that. I hope I And do. you gotta put Nikes on though. You can't do the Mac Miller one and not put Nikes on. Nike's down. And you can't play the Rocky song and not get flea. Like you can't put on Pesos by ASAP Rocky and then put a tech suit on. <laughs> I don't got no swag, bro. Yeah, I, I'm out here for five days. I, I fuck been, with text too, though. I ain't mean to dis. Yeah, you definitely tech did. Rockets. Cool. I fuck with text. I've been. I'm here. I'm gonna be here for five days, and I packed five white tees, bro. Not gonna lie. It's, 
I'm that type of nigga. I ain't gonna lie. As I'm getting older, I'm becoming the white tee jeans, white tee with the khakis type of nigga. I'm not really tripping off shit. That's all you need, honestly. If I had some, if if you would if you would have gave me a shirt before we would have started, then I would have took off the hoodie and all that shit and all this and that. But I should have bought you a little almost rich t- shirt for sure. Forgot about that. I didn't even think about that. Damn, you did hit me too and say if I had merch, I forgot. I ain't go back God past damn. the spot first. I thought you was gonna at least give me like a wristband. I forgot, bro. Nigga, all right, all right, just just Niggas just sign high. just sign my arm, my hand. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna get it tatted. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Okay, I got some unreleased shit. I'm gonna send you. Since I really know, like, you really fuck with it. I'm going to send you some shit. Yeah, twin. But, yeah, no, the white tee with the gold chain, with the with the, with the the jeans, with the with the white ones. Can't go wrong with that. Every day. I, that was me in L.A. every day. I was looking like one of them. See, was you, you was living out there? Fake. Not really, but fake. How long? Like, what? Like, the I longest just, I spent out there was, like, five months, four or five months. Five months? What the fuck? I never went nowhere and went did five months. Yep. What the fuck are you doing out there for five months? Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just uh working, bro. Like out there, my mindset was a little different. Like you so got it. You got it. Like LA trip. I was just trying to fucking eat, pay the bills, and the bills wasn't really bills. Like it was like the weed bill. The, Nigga, that's the ex- a bill. The fuck ex- you talking about? That's a light bill. Fuck that. <laughs> Early, it was crazy. Listen, listen, it's like this. I remember you went to LA. I'm staying in one spot. The shit, everything I need to access and everything is an hour away, bro. LA, big as fuck. California is big as fuck. Like, that's why everybody out there driving mad young and shit because you're not having no motion if you don't have a car. Out here, it's kind of the same in Philly for real, too. But like in New York, for sure, you got motion if you don't got a car. It's a thousand trains. Shit. You feel me? Everybody, I know niggas that get money that ride the train. Like, niggas that, you feel me? So, it's different in New York. Philly, niggas, you kind of got to have a car, but you can get around. You can get around the entire city on the on the public transportation out here. But, in LA, it's quiet. It ain't none of that. Like, it's public transportation, but it's not really as common or popular. So, you got to have a whip. So, that was one thing. The Uber prices is crazy, or I'm driving, and then gas money prices is crazy. Nigga, the weed prices is crazy, Taxing but the weed is die. so good, so it's, it's good, like bro. I'm on some stupid shit. Just is like, it mouth? Bro. Is it like when I be I hear niggas tell me LA we good, but is it like mouth watering good though? Bro, it's fire. Yeah, you ain't been to LA yet. I'm you, a nigga, bro. You I'm going? A hood nigga nah, you heart. going? You going for sure? But I'm a hood that shit is hitting. Yeah, like it's hitting, bro. Like. I smoked weed for a good six years before I went to LA, and then that one time in LA, it was like, "What have I been smoking weed all this time for?" God damn, that's really. How I would have waited. I swear to God, I would have waited until I went to LA to smoke weed if I knew it was gonna be like that. Like oh I smoked all God. this bullshit this nigga, all my life. Is that a fresh statement? Yeah, fresh bro, the message? weed is crazy. Like it's oh, crazy, shoot. and as you get to smell it, they telling you how much THC is in it, what it looked like. It looked different, different colors, and all this goofy shit. Shit was crazy. You go and then the exotic pop stores. I went to my first fucking two weeks out there. I went and spent three hundred dollars on just exotic sodas and <laughs> backwoods and stupid <laughs> shit. Just dumb shit, 300 bro. Three hundred bucks, nigga. Bro, L.A. is a. Gr- I kept saying this. There's one one thing I kept saying. L.A. is a grown amusement park, bro. Like you know how kids go to the amusement park and be like funnel cake and rides, all that shit. Like it was like weed. You feel me? It was lit, bro. Like it was crazy. But you, I had to get that out of my system. I go back to LA now. I know how to carry it now. But them first two times, bro, they what? I fucked myself. Crazy. Spent everything. Everything. Crazy. So you blew. So so you so you you blew, basically blew all the all the all, as much as I paid you from me, listening to your music. You blew all that. Oh yeah, all that stream money. LA. Fuck. <laughs> How much? How, all right, can you give like a, a range, like how much you had to spend out there for that month, for those six five months? Uh, I ain't gonna like cap it. Like it was like a crazy amount, but it was. I can't even count, bro. I ain't gonna lie, cause it was just it was stupid. Like every day I'm waking up and spending this amount. I'm going to the weed store, spending this amount. Calculate it. All right, I'm spending this amount. I'm spending this much on my food. This much on the Uber to get back from my food. This much. It was every day. It was an everyday thing. Damn. It was never a. 
or I'm chilling today. The only time it would be chilling is if I had enough racked up. I, I went grocery shopping or I bought enough weed to chill me out for a couple of days. But like, bro, it was every, it was an everyday thing. Like, and I knew it. I would tell people around me, like, bro, I'm spending this much today. Like, I'm wilding. Like, but it was like I can't when I'm a not live I feel like, I, got, I, feel like I just knew I had to get the fuck out of there it wasn't even me it was just LA LA is Shorty, expensive Shorty, we got, we got and it's some, too much out there we gotta start selling some selling some crack or something before we go to LA <laughs> fuck that we're not going up there with my fucking <laughs> nigga you know you know what my occupation is what I'm an adult daycare like nurse so you deal with kids all day adult daycare oh adult day what the fuck is an adult daycare old ass people oh shit oh shit well, a nigga, yeah. bro, a nigga that's kind of that's a common job. A nigga called me a pedophile the other day, cause I he was delusional. I was I was I was checking his ass to make sure he ain't pee on himself. Word, like, come on, bro, I'm helping you for real. How can you really like? He said it out though. loud, so niggas look niggas was looking back like, bro. I was like, fuck. Put him in a straight jacket. Fuck that nigga, Mister Tillery, man. I put your grandpa in a straight jacket. Straight up. He said he's the cops too, so I say I really be like fuck twelve every day. Right fuck now. twelve, put that boy in a straight jacket. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything, anything else that that you feel like you want to run over? Almost rich out now. Keep streaming my tape. Oh, I need my shit. distro kid checks to go up. Hit them bitches, bro! You just came back from tour. Yeah, I forgot to bring that up. How was I that? tour? Where I tour to? You tour, bro? You tour? Um, maybe no. You just had that one show in. New York, New York, yeah, I had a little show. I thought in New York. then you then you post some shit when like you was, you said you was going to tour to certain places. Uh oh no, I might have like you might have been talking about the post. Where I was like asking about a tour, like oh, asking about like where like would y'all was... want me to tour if I was. To tour. I don't even, know, but like it felt crazy. Like growing up listening to you, but I felt like the only nigga listening to you. Like I don't, I don't think I never like talked about somebody about you or something. You know what's crazy? In Baltimore, you wasn't the only nigga listening to me. Oh, it shit. was probably some other... Not probably. If for sure, cause I've had other people from Baltimore hit me and be like, yo, I fuck with your shit. So it was like, it was some other nigga out there at that time. Y'all just wasn't locked in. It be like that. Locked you know what's in. crazy? I be thinking about that with like Our Future. I was listening to Our Future in Philly when I feel like nobody was listening to Our Future, which probably wasn't true. Probably nobody just in my like within 10 to 20 block... I mean area probably wasn't but i felt like yo i'm the only nigga in the city that listens to these niggas but realistically it probably was people like you know around you feel me so it definitely it for sure was somebody else in the city listening to me that's crazy though think about it i wish y'all would have linked like y'all could have made this shit Bro, stronger this is baltimore what the fuck you think niggas be linking no <laughs> you think niggas be linking? <laughs> nah, for sure and niggas is definitely not linking and playing no cash or fresh bro like hell no i know like i'm not stupid niggas I is like I yo i gave you an ounce last time you only got 30 dollars <laughs> like niggas is like that this is baltimore. where niggas heads is at like niggas is not talking about the euro nah yeah nah, i'm for bro. sure no i like to think baltimore is like like philly's like cousin city like we kind of yeah, like cousins I, I feel that same way yeah it looked just way. alike it's Damn crazy it, that's what i'm saying except like bro parking around what the fuck Y'all parking easier? Bro, yo, this is the most crazy shit I've seen. It's like, gentrified. It's different. You kind of, you in a nice part right now. This so. is a nice part? Yeah. Okay. So we can like just walk to the store and get some backwoods. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I, I wouldn't Friends, steer, I wouldn't steer you wrong. If I get shot out here, it's your nah, fault. Nah, nah, here, not over here. Okay. Where where what should I avoid? Like uh avoid fucking uh beer distributor stores. <laughs> beer distributor. <laughs> Late at night. I saw one. <laughs> I saw one. Yeah, don't go in them. Yeah, yellow, them bright yellow like signs, white signs, all that. You think you about to just go in there and get a little beverage. I'm about to just pull over real quick and get a little soda. It's 2 a.m. Oh, no, don't go in there, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't do that. Yeah. Just, just you know, gas station it. Like a nice lit up gas station. Nice, well surveillanced yeah, gas station. Yeah, I was station. about to say. So it's just like Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Oh, yeah. I just, the only reason I came out here, because cause where I be at in Baltimore, like, the only reason I came out here was for two reasons. Okay. Um, I wanted no three reasons. I wanted to fucking meet fresh. For Fire. One. And for two, um, I kind of got tired of seeing like crack kids, you know. Oh, you came to the wrong city. But where I'm at, I haven't seen one around here yet. You in a good, you in a good spot. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't, I don't be around the good but spots you, in Baltimore, nigga. You can't, you ain't, you can't come to Philly to avoid crack kids though. I mean, I they're still, here, but I want to know that they're <laughs> close. Like, you don't know you a hood nigga. Like, you can't just go out to, L you can't just go out to the rich part of LA. Like, you rather just go to, like New Jersey. 
Like I'm that nigga. Like I'm I'm a hood nigga at heart. Bro. I low key, you know what's crazy? I was about to be like, nah, you tripping, but I low key, I feel you. It's a it's a balance, like, cause it that other side is not always fire. Like it's 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 problems everywhere. You feel what I'm saying? There's rich nigga problems. So when you go around that atmosphere, it's like, oh, maybe I, you know, what I'm saying, want to go back to my little. You feel me? But. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> my sister calls me. If she if she, if I show you, she'll know who you are. I'm hang up on her. Hey yo. Oh my god. Hey babies. What you supposed to say? I'm doing an interview right now. You want to see fresh? Say hi. To, say hi to my nephews and nieces. Hello. <laughs> Hello, children. He's better than anybody you ever knew before. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, I'm gonna call you right back. I'm on an interview right now. Oh, they singing happy birthday to me. Fire. I was about to hang up on him. <laughs> Look at King. Thank you, guys. Kristen, I got to go. I love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't eat my cake. Straight up. You got a carrot cake? No, nigga. Oh, I thought they said you carrot. You want some of my cake? Yeah, nigga. I, I brought a corner with me. I'm a SpongeBob fiend, so. Fuck yeah. Let me get one of them little cupcake thing things. Oh, my God. Think, 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 think. I got fresh drunk. I gave him a cupcake. Nigga, I'm done. Fuck this rap shit. Fuck this. I'm done. This is my last interview. Yeah. Anything <laughs> you want to sign off to tell the people? Of course, finally, Rich. Especially, I think, I think I, I'm fucking with the chop and screw like I've never heard. Have you done that before? Yeah. No. 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 Not. Not the way I just did it. Cause the, shout out to DJ Slim K. Cause that's a real Houston like legend. You know what I'm saying? Real DJ. Real. You know what I'm saying? Real chop, not slop type. It, it shit. sounded like yo, it. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It really did. Yeah. Cause he really showed me the difference between just the niggas who just be slowing their shit down halftime and just be. You know what I'm saying? He really he really mixed my shit. Like I got him on another record that I ain't dropped yet, but like it's really an art to what bro doing. So I really I definitely appreciate him because it, it's putting me in a different bracket as opposed to just slow and reverb in my shit. It's like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's it's he's a he an instrument. He's a he's a part of that shit. He's like, a part of the culture too. For fuck yeah. It's Hell like yeah. bro, it's like going and getting a jazz DJ drama. A real jazz trumpet player to to play Instead of getting a sample, going to get a real jazz oh. trumpet player over my shit. Like it's like one of them, like really going to get a piece of a culture and putting on your music and in, in order to emulate that as opposed to fucking trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to copy it. It's crazy. And it fell in my hands too. I ain't even I, I fell fuck in with your chopping hands? and screw music. Yeah, he reached he reached out to me type shit. Like so again, that that's not the first time that's happened. So it was like, bro, bless him. Up above. If fresh bless you, you know what I'm gonna do? What? Get on my knees. No homo. Bless up. Hey yo. No homo though. Show sure that. Back. <laughs> he um, said no homo. What's up? <gasps> what, when I think of that, I think of that intro from Get Him Daddy by Cameron. <laughs> he said, Tell these niggas suck a dick, no homo. No homo. Yo, is there anything you want to tell to the people? Your your supporters that's probably coming to this video for you specifically. Uh What do I want to tell my people? What you want to tell me, nigga? It's basically the same thing. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, nigga? Uh, shit. So much, but like, listen to the music. First of all, listen to the music. Just listen to the shit I drop. A lot of this shit that I have to say to y'all is in that. Because right now I can't think of anything. But nigga, go get the merch. Say that. Oh yeah, for sure. Of, of course, that should be obvious. I I hate. I kind of hate having to promote because I'll be feeling like once I said it once or twice, you should just know like, oh yeah, go shop for friends. But like, you really do gotta. Even Macy's put out a commercial every. You know what I'm saying? Every so day. it's like, yeah, I gotta. Uh, yeah, go shop for friends, man. Come on, man. Stop playing around. So M- drip. So you gonna you gonna lock me in? You gonna send me a package? Man, I got I got almost risky for how long you say you here for? I'm You're here for a couple more days, right? Yeah, Sunday. I got almost rich teeth for you. Shh. You got me, bro. 
and some R and shit. Do I gotta go pick it up? We gonna bring it by? Like, nah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring it through. We can smoke a bun or something, like chop it up. I could, yeah, I'm, bro. I'm trying to. I'm, I feel like I feel like those know how niggas was playing thousand dollars for Chris Brown meet and greets type shit. I feel like that, but I ain't paying thousand dollars. Easy. You gotta be a tool for a nigga. You know what I mean? You Chris can't Brown. just ask them to come through. Niggas paying a stack. That is crazy. You, you, that's they got you. What do you say? <laughs> Bro, if y'all would have charged me, if y'all would have charged me, this wouldn't have been an interview because I could not pay it. Pay it. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? What am, what am I to get up here and lie, nigga? I feel it. Nigga, I'm, I'm best by best nah, by. we not charging a stack for the for the hug pictures. But that's crazy. I actually, that's crazy to get to that level where like you charging and you to talk to you. Yo, yeah, I'm charging a thousand dollars for you to take this picture with me. And you're not even questioning it. You're really doing it, bro. Don't you know? Don't you know? Because I'm a legend, huh? Don't you know Blueface's girlfriend, Krishan? Uh, yeah. I, yep. <laughs> I was I was talking to her peoples, and I was about to have the interview, right? Crazy. And then I guess she, she went all fire right now. That, this, this was like this was like three months before she like this whole shit because she's from my city, you know. So really, I mean, yeah, she's from Baltimore. Oh shit! So, I thought she but was we from did, LA. No, she's from Baltimore. But but this like this is before like we can tell she about to go up and shit. Mm. So I'm trying to get locked in and shit. So we talking, we, we about to lock in a date, and then she ghosts me for like three weeks or so. Then she come back, and then I guess it's like the whole shit where she like up up now type shit. She glowed up, nigga. She, nigga, it she, happens. She, 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 but like she she charged me. She went from she went from like yeah I'm gonna pull up. I got you. Just let me know. Now that shit fifty right, nigga. She charged me five racks. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I don't even got my own house yet. How I'm gonna pay five racks? Be like that. You know how you know how many niggas I've like had the chance to work with and then they blew up and it was over after that? Like, bro, be like that. Be like that for sure. So 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 you hit you hit Gotti up since the last song and he and he dried you. Oh no, that's quiet. What? That is shit been quiet. Shout out to Yachty. I fuck with Yachty. Like, but that shit been quiet, fuck, nigga. I thought he was fucking with you. <laughs> nah, I mean, he probably fuck with me. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Course. But like, I don't know. Like, it's bro, bro up and busy right now. It ain't like I'm about to, oh yeah, yeah I'm about, let me stop back and fuck with Fresh one time. Like, yeah, uh, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Um, Fresh, you don't, you don't know how much this is an honor for me. This is a check. This is a check off my shit. Yes, sir. Well, I got one question though for you. For me? Yeah. So, from but I like to know this about places. What's like the signature food in Baltimore? Because people always being from Philly, I've always grown up knowing like we have a signature food. Like people come to Philly for a cheesesteak. Uh, what's the best? Where's the best cheesesteak? Crap. See, I know that right. My parents come go to Baltimore sometimes just to eat seafood, right? But like I'm not a seafood eater, so is that it? It's just crab. I go to is is nigga. It's crabs and heroin. <laughs> nigga, my father was nigga. My sister was born with crack on her system. Nigga, it's crack. Crazy. Babies. It's it's more crabs than crack babies. Crabs I mean, or more, heroin is it's crazy. More, it's more crack babies than crabs. I'm sorry. So I gotta pick between crabs and, and heroin. I mean, you if you want some heroin, though, hit me up. I got crazy. You. We trying to make it out the hood, fresh. <laughs> I'm tr- I'm trying to feel like power in this shit. Why not sell crabs if the market is equally? Because it's not equal. Is. <laughs> Not everybody do. People cra- want dope more than crabs. Yeah, that's the. I can see that, nigga. Every day before I go to work, I drive by a crack house and I be over there like twenty. It's just 30, crabs, though. You mean to tell me like it's no black crabs, and, bro? That's it, bro. Unless you want, what you want to get like shot or something? No, I'm food. Stay on food. Oh, we talking about food? That's that's lit. That's it. Just it's, crabs. Am I right, shorty? Just the crabs, chicken boxes. <laughs> That sound all right. Where you get that from? Chicken box is not that good though. That's like a crown fried situation. But no, go to you ever heard of Kimmy's? Kimmy's. Mm. It's like a it's like a buffet soul food place. Like they got collard greens, cabbage. Oh, not see. There but we like, go. But like they're that's in, some Baltimore exclusive shit. But like Kimmy's. They're, but they're like they're only in the hood. I'm with that. Okay. It be like that. I pulled up to the sketchiest places in LA to get food. Right. It like, be like that. I don't care. I am a pedestrian. Let me let me take fresh to my hood, bro. I'm with that. For the food, for but the food only. I, don't pull up and have me like kicking it, you know what I'm saying? On some bullshit. I'm be like, yeah, this, <laughs> this, for the this, food. This, this, I go to any the, hood for some food. I'm, I'm gonna be like, yeah, fresh. This the leader of the, of the GDs. This, <laughs> this is the leader of my block right here, bro. <laughs> bro I came for some wings, bro. Fuck is we do? <laughs> nah, no bullshit. I'll pull up to any anybody shit for some food, bro. No bullshit. Bro, so I don't give you, a fuck. If you in Baltimore, bro, mm-hmm. hit me up. 
go get your food, whatever. Let me get another interview. Bet it. I, I'm For trying, sure, if, I'm I, if to, I come out Baltimore, I'm gonna tap in. I gotta tap in. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be linked in with with fresh. Bet not it. nobody. Not nobody else. When I come to Baltimore. I need the buffet spot. Kimmy's, you said. Yeah, Kimmy's. I'm That's coming to Kimmy's. Three things I can promise you in Baltimore. Uh, 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 and I gotta get some some gold girls out there. Gold girls. Yeah. What that guy do at Baltimore? Ain't that y'all shit? No, no, that's disrespectful, bro. That's not y'all shit. No. But bro, Baltimore, everybody got girls out there. No, them don't. No, Baltimore niggas got girls, and them niggas, them niggas is different. That's not Baltimore. We, we talking about Baltimore. No. Them What's niggas, the difference? You say Baltimore and Baltimore. <laughs> no. Nah, you you, show, you know the difference? You know the difference. <laughs> Ain't no damn difference. difference. Don't trust them niggas, Fresh. Don't trust no nigga. <laughs> just, just hit me up. I don't got no grills. I don't got no grills. Hit me up. That's Trustworthy my, nigga. That's, that's my verification. I don't got no grills, bro. I'm coming out there and get my grills done, man. I got to get right. Or Texas. Yeah, go to Texas. <laughs> bro, my so nigga, grills symbolize something different in Baltimore. No. Than everywhere just, else. I mean, you just look like a certain type of nigga. Like a Baltimore nigga, bro. A Baltimore nigga, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it represents no, something different for y'all out there. That's not representing Baltimore. That's <laughs> not representing Baltimore. That's just a nigga that's a Baltimore nigga. That's, that's <laughs> not representing nothing, bro. Like, all right. Like, I fuck with him. All right. I'm done, all right. It's 10.03, so I'm going to say one more thing, and then I'm done. Like, bro, like. Bottle okay. nigga, a Baltimore nigga. Only. That was probably like if you said you wanted to come out here and like wear a dicky. I probably had the same reaction. Like, why? You can do that anywhere else. So why would you do it? Don't do it. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> Fresh. I'm crying. Thank you again. Nah, thank you, bro. Um, appreciate you, fam. This, this is this is a movie, right? This is the best birthday gift. Movie bow. Oh yeah, happy birthday again. Oh my God, Fresh just told me happy birthday. I'm about to faint. Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's lit. He was born in 2000. <laughs> yes, sir. Crazy. 2000. What you, a, a 2000, what, uh, 1999, yeah, 2001? I'm 99, that far off. It's just crazy being like, 2000, is that? Like, nigga, fuck this. I got family members that was born in like 2003 and shit. They like 19 now. That shit is weird. That shit nasty. We yeah. got them clones. That's what I call them. Yo. Yo, Fresh, thank you again. Everybody, fuck with Fresh. <laughs> and everybody that fuck with Fresh, fuck with me. Because, do I got the cosign? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Shorty, me, 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 and my girl will have a good night tonight just because of you. Lit. I'm a co- Shorty. Can we fuck the childish tonight? <laughs> yeah, yo, don't, <laughs> that, don't. That shit is horrible. Don't listen to that. So let's the last three songs. Let's come on. <laughs> why you? Why you hit me up? You know what I mean? No. I'm, I'm gonna talk to her about it later. I'm talking. Yeah. So, but um, one uh, the twenty million dollar podcast, number one podcast on earth. Shout out to I don't want to fuck up the name again. Shout out to Tizzy. Shout out to Tizzy, the manager. Um, Tizzy, I hope you realize how much, how much I, this nigga is Santa Claus to me. Treat him like it. And a ho, 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 nigga. Straight up. Uh, um, um, uh, last question is. Bow. Give me some side here. Some side. Man. You got the plug. We all. All right. All right. He gonna, I'm going to let him answer that all question. All camera. End this shit. We done. Thank you. <laughs>